So fundamentally speaking, Octane for Maya uses path tracing as a way to uh, simulate the physically accurate behavior of light as it is reflected off of surfaces in a scene. So what path tracing means is it's a uh, it's basically a method of rendering. As light is cast into a scene from one or more sources, Octane will look at the surfaces that are reflecting that light, and it will use the BRDF function, which is essentially an algorithm, to calculate how much of the light that strikes the surface should be reflected into the camera. So this creates a physically accurate method of simulating light and reflectance in a scene, and it's why things look so realistic with Octane for Maya. This also means that Octane is an unbiased render. So what that means is a biased render is a more traditional rendering method that uses shortcuts and cheats, such as blurring in areas of shadows where there's you know low levels of global illumination bouncing around and that kind of thing, in order to speed up the render and make something that looks aesthetically pleasing but is not necessarily physically accurate. Because Octane uses path tracing, the lighting uh, actually behaves in a physically accurate way and thus it's unbiased. It doesn't rely on any of these sheets to calculate uh, global illumination and other light bounce effects. Now, if you take a look at the render kernel settings, and we'll talk about this a lot throughout the course, uh, you have a choice between direct light path tracing and PMC or info channel. In terms of rendering the image, you would use any of these three uh, render kernels. Path tracing and PMC are both path trace rendering methods. Direct light uh, is a biased rendering method that uses some cheats to speed up the render and is not quite as physically accurate as the other two render methods, since it's not path traced. But that's kind of the basics of how the rendering works in Octane for Maya and why Octane for Maya creates such wonderfully realistic looking renders.